had um, May Day, which was a very enjoyable event because that was good, good, coming out for the summer. Uh -huh. And uh, we always had a good time going around the flagpole and okay. doing other little activities uh, on the outside, playing ball, uh -huh. jumping in the sack. And, and so uh, that was all good okay. at West Brom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you went down through, you say, fifth grade? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then where did you go? Well, when we come out of West Brom, we went to, we had an elementary school down on Reese Street. And it was called Reese Street Elementary School. And those grades only went to sixth and seventh okay. grade. Okay. And so there I was in elementary school in which we had to walk. We didn't have school buses. Mm -hmm. So we had to walk from my broad acres to Reese Street every day, whether it was raining, cold, or whatever, mm -hmm. we had to walk. Because at that time, you didn't find many of our black families with cars, and they were not really able to have cars. And basically, back in those days, that everywhere, basically, that we, as a black people, we had to walk. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, we uh, we walked every day to school back and forth, and those were good days down there. My teachers down there was Professor Hone. He's he was um, the athletic uh, coach for Athens High and Industrial. So his wife was one of our teachers. Then we had um, um, uh, uh, we had a teacher which was the principal. Elizabeth G. King, she okay. was uh, one of, well, she was a principal, uh -huh. and a, and then she was one of my homeroom teachers. Okay. And um, I'm trying to think uh, of other teachers that we had, but I can't quite remember okay. them. And so that and was down on Reese Street, Reese Street, across from the, or oh, it's near where the uh, old Athens High Industrial Building. Right. Okay. We were that. We were. You would get to. Uh, if you were coming from this side, mm -hmm. you would get from uh, there, from this side uh, going, it would be the house that, now I believe we got uh, one of the Masons. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. that building. That building. It was uh, Rich Street Elementary School. Okay, okay. And it only went from 6th to 7th grade. Uh -huh. And so uh, those was good years down there. Mm -hmm. And then we moved when you... Uh, into when you finish uh, the seventh grade, mm -hmm. then we went down the street to Athens High and Industrial. Okay. And Athens High and Industrial at that time was eighth grade, ninth grade, uh -huh. tenth grade, and eleventh grade. And where was it located when you? When I when I went, uh -huh. uh, it was located right down there where it's no longer a school. Okay. It's where we did the ceremony down there on the corner. Uh huh. Uh huh. A uh, poke and. Um, Reese Street. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It was right there. The school sat on that corner. Okay. And so uh, uh, that was where I attended. Uh, that's where Professor H. T. Epples was the principal at that okay. particular time. Okay. Okay. And so there was H. T. Epples and there was Miss uh, Miss uh, 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 Clarabelle Smith. Okay. Uh, there was uh, A. G. Robinson. Uh, there was I'm trying to think Miss Bernie. Uh, there was um, Miss Swinton, uh, there was Reverend Billups. That so Miss Bernie is the, the the person for whom uh, Brent Harris is named. Right? Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. And then there was uh, who else? Um, uh, uh, did I say uh, Jack Billups? Um, let's see. I don't see. think you mentioned that. Uh huh. We had Jack Billups and we had Walter Allen okay. Senior. He was our music uh, band leader, uh -huh. and uh, there was a few more others that I really quite can't comprehend okay. because we had so many of them mm -hmm. that um, they went and they came. You know, okay. they would be with us for a while and then they would go to another school okay. or whatever. Okay. But those was the good days because we had um, we had the uh, eighth grade. Low ball, okay. and uh, then we moved from eighth grade and you went to ninth, and you had the little ninth grade ball, okay. and uh, then you had the little tenth grade ball, mm -hmm. ball, and then you had the prom, which was always open for only the juniors and seniors. Okay. And uh, also, our football field, you went on down the street, 
and up on the top of Finley, where um, uh, that was where one of the motels is on the left side. Uh, was our football field. Really? Uh huh. Okay. And then on the corner across the street from the school was our librarian. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we had to go down the street, which when we got to high school, you always had to travel like college students. Mm -hmm. You had to not, everything was not done in the high school. Okay. Well, it was done part of high school, mm -hmm. but the mu the band room always, you had to come out the building, come up the street, mm -hmm. and go up to the building between Re Street mm -hmm. Elementary School. So it was like a campus there. Yeah, campus. yeah. Wow. And then also our home economics was the same way. Mm -hmm. And then for um, our, um, in, uh, our, um, oh shoot, I'm thinking, um, for I would say agriculture like uh, classes, mm -hmm. we had to come out, go down the hill, and right there where that playground mm -hmm. is across from First AME, mm -hmm. those was classes down there. Okay. And we we always hated to go down there because someone down in that area at that time mm -hmm. owned the hall pen. Okay. And uh, when it was beginning to come get hot, yes. and we're in classes. Uh -huh. uh, in which was taught, the class was taught by Mr. Trotman. Right. And uh, so he would always throw, because we didn't have air conditions back there at that time. Mm -hmm. So he would always raise up the window, open the door, uh -huh. and you could always smell the pen. <laughs> Did a lot of folks have uh, pigs and cows and animals back then? Well, they and did. Well, I would say a lot of people of my knowing uh, had pigs mm -hmm. because people basically, I was just telling a lady earlier, I said, uh, it's just it's just amazing how when you go in the store, when you talk to someone in a conversation, they say, um, oh, I'm eating organic food, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I always say, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. I said, because, and Organic is nothing but I can go out in my yard, dig a few spaces out there, mm -hmm. and plant. And that's, that is organic. Mm -hmm. And that is what they're doing now when they say fresh market. Right. And they are saying, well, you can get your organic, come get your organic because it's better than what you're receiving in the grocery stores. Mm -hmm. But no, it's not because you can just plant that outside. Mm -hmm. And basically back in the day, people, most people, uh, had a garden. Okay. If they didn't have but one by their house, right. they at least they could go out and they always grew collars okay. and little Did tomatoes. And, and well, we neighbors. really didn't have no more. My mom, she loved the flowers, so okay. we had a little space for flowers. Mm -hmm. And then she would grow like, uh, put plants out there for okay. tomatoes okay. and pepper, but that was the best, that was the best she could do okay. with the space that we had uh -huh. in those apartments that we lived in. Okay. Also, I had a cousin that lived on Henderson Street, uh -huh. and they always had a garden, and they had pigs, uh -huh. and uh, then I had some cousins that lived in the country, and whenever we went to the country, uh, they worked on, they worked for these white people, uh -huh. and so by working for them, they allowed them to grow okay. their their food. Mm -hmm. And so we always we loved it going to the country because now that was, was that? That was down like mm, was like that? maybe down and off of the Danielville Road okay. because so at so that time Clark County or Madison County? Madison County okay. kind of would be okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because at that time, you know, it wasn't like it is now. Mm -hmm. So they lived back down, way back down, and uh, on the Nowhere Road. Okay. And um, that was our country. Uh -huh. It wasn't part of Clark County. Okay. Okay. And um, we would go, and uh, I always say, in talking with people, sometimes we we're talking about old times. Nowadays, people don't give you anything when you go visit them, mm -hmm. and people don't do visiting like they used to. Mm -hmm. That was the thing to do because it was nothing for basically black people to do but church. Mm -hmm. And then when you got out of church, and visit. when you go home to eat, mm -hmm. then you go visit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we as children, I always went visiting and with my mom and my dad, because my dad was a person that he was a people person. Mm -hmm. And I am uh, maiden name Kitchens. And my uh, 
who did not know my dad. And uh, so uh, we would always go visit. Mm -hmm. And then my mom always liked it to visit her fam mm -hmm. uh, part of her family, okay. which my dad was original from Winder. And I didn't get a chance to know a lot of his people okay. no, and his growing up. Uh -huh. But uh, we would go visit and... Uh, Where was your mom originally from? My mother was original from here. Oh, yeah, okay. In other words, my mom, I don't know exactly where she was born at. All I know, she lived up on, uh, on um, uh, what's this up here, by St. James. Okay. Uh, um, I want to say Oconee Hike. Okay. And that was up toward where St. James is, just across the railroad track. Uh -huh. An area back over in there used to be where a lot of... Uh, Black people live. Okay. Did, and that, so, did that community have a name then? Do you remember? Only thing I know is up, okay. up um, Oconee Heights from okay. what I was okay. told. Okay. But anyway, when you went to visit, you always left with something mm -hmm. because they always would say, no, you can't leave until you go to the garden. Right. And uh, then you would go to the garden and whatever was in the garden, if you wanted it, you got it. Mm -hmm. And then if they raised anything like cows or uh, uh, pigs, then they would say, well, let me go in the smokehouse and get you a piece of meat. Right. And then if you drank milk, they would say, well, we churn milk, and uh, we want you to take milk or butter mm -hmm. home. So that's the way it was back in that right. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did your dad do? My dad was a custodian, and my dad started at U UGA when all oh, the campus was no size. Okay. And uh, then he worked there, I don't know how long he had been there, and then he moved from there when different doctors come in and start opening up their okay. own centers. Okay. And so my dad was the head custodian.